Hey y'all, this is the uh, Brunton Compass that I'd mentioned to you previously. This is a, a pocket transit. This is a leather case that it is um, kept in. Uh, it fits on your belt like so. And uh, this is one of the earliest models actually that was used uh, out of composite material, sort of a plastic if you will. And uh, because of that, the uh, the mirror has had some problems over the years, but I took some epoxy and glued the mirror down. Uh, the parts to this, let's see, let me wipe the mirror off here. This is, uh, this is what it looks like up close and personal here. Uh, you can see on the dial here that, um, here, let me get this sort of out of the way. It uh, is partitioned off in uh, degrees all around the outside here on this outside rim here and uh, if I were to hold it due north, north is actually that way and so this is south so this is pointing south uh, that direction is east this direction is west and what you do uh, to use this uh, compass is you have to uh, put the bubble in the middle of this level or the flat level right there and um, and then you can read the compass direction off in degrees. So as I lock it down right there with this little key right here, that's uh, the south arrow is pointing towards 20 degrees off of south. So uh, if 180 is south, that would be about 160, the direction that that's facing right there. And uh, north would, of course, be that way still. The uh, uh, the, the neat thing about this is you can shoot bearings with it and so what you do in order to shoot a bearing is that you would hold it like so, balance the level, about le uh, belt level, and then you could use the mirror right here to sight what you're wanting to point at. Say I'm wanting to find out what degrees that hilltop is over there. You point it in that direction and there's a line in this mirror right here that helps you sight through this site right here. And so that's one way to do it. Uh, so the other way to do it is where you bend this eyepiece up like that and you can sight through this little opening right there. And so you, you flatten it across there as a flat way like this. And then you can see and you can read from the mirror what that uh, amount of deviation is from north or south. So that is a Brunton compass right here. It's one of the ways that we can mark where we go in the field. And we can also take attitudes with this. And so the attitudes here would be related to this other apparatus, which is in the back here. This is called a clinometer. And that clinometer can adjust and you balance the bubble to however the rocks are inclined. So let's say the rocks are inclined like this. We can balance that bubble like so. And then you read off of this uh, scale on the inside here and you can actually get the degrees of deviation from horizontal that way. So this is a geologist's uh, favorite tool, I guess you could say. GPSs are kind of nice too, but you gotta have a base map. Um, and it's always good to be able to find yourself without a GPS, uh, just based on the topography and so forth. So anyway, that is a Brunton compass. Um, yeah, by the way, so this scale that's set up here, north is now at the top here, so north right there, you're not actually pointing towards true north when you use this you're pointing towards the magnetic north. And so magnetic north is what the, the compass is drawn to. You can actually see the magnet in the center part of this. And this, this, this needle is, is more or less uh, aligned in. So north is up that way right now. It's, it's pointing in that direction. Uh, but um, you can actually adjust for true north. If you know what the magnetic declination is, you can adjust using this, this, this one right here, that little screw right here will adjust for magnetic north. So in Springfield area, 
true north and magnetic north are almost identical. I think it's like half a degree off right now. And within 10 years, it should actually be dead on. So magnetic north in Springfield will be true north. So uh, back when I was in school 30 years ago, um, yeah, 35 maybe, the um, magnetic north then was like six degrees to the east, I believe. So it varies through time. So the magnetic poles shift, as does the magnetic declination anywhere you go across the U.S. So good to keep that in mind if you're trying to locate yourself with just a compass. Um, they always mark the magnetic north on topographic maps. And so that's, that's good to know also. But you also have to look to see when it was published. And then you have to calculate exactly how much the uh, deviation is from true north. Uh, based on what date you're actually using that map. All right, so uh, that's, a, that's a Brunton compass. It's also called a pocket, uh, pocket transit. And so uh, that's how we get our attitudes. That's it for now.